Greetings, programs. I am Master Control. <clears throat> I mean, Cooper Andrews. Hello. This year, as part of Dragon Congo's virtual, we are digitizing and uploading the fifth annual Dragon Awards ceremony to the grid and bringing it to you, the users. Thank you for tuning in. For those who are catching the awards for the first time, the Dragon Awards were launched in 2016 in tandem with Dragon Con's 30th anniversary. These awards allow readers, writers, publishers, and editors a way to recognize excellence in all things science fiction and fantasy. There is no membership or fee to nominate and vote. They are by the fans, for the fans, and are a chance to reward those who have made real contributions to sci-fi, books, games, comics, and media. It may feel like we have been stuck inside for 200 microcycles, but when technology is once again upending our world, we find ourselves consuming media now more than ever. Binging our favorite shows, blasting through our favorite books, and playing our favorite games it is by your nominations that we're able to showcase 92 phenomenal titles and creators on this year's Dragon Award ballot. Thousands of you voted for your favorites in categories ranging from best fantasy novel to best console game and everything in between. It is my honor tonight to represent your voices and votes and present to you the winners of the 2020 Dragon Awards. Con presents the 2020 Dragon Awards. When I first played Pathfinder 10 years ago, I was a dwarf with a knife and rope, and I fell into a hole which led to this cave. I was surrounded by the enemy and then killed. That sucked because then I had to watch everyone else play for the next five hours. But I got to eat a lot of pizza, so that was great. Anyway, I didn't realize that ten years later I would actually get to play a character that falls in a cave uh, with some friends and gets to have his sword and uh, a kind of crappy flashlight and fight my way through it. I did get to live through that, so um, I like to thank Pathfinder for giving me the skills on surviving my cave experience. <laughs> and the nominees for Best Science Fiction or Fantasy Miniatures Collectible Card Role-Playing Game are... The nominees for Best Science Fiction or Fantasy Miniatures slash Collectible Card slash Role-Playing Game are... Alien RPG, Free League Publishing, Battlestar Galactica, Starship Battles, Viper Mark Seven. Ares Games, Magic the Gathering, Throne of Eldraine, Wizards of the Coast, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, Paizo Publishing, Spectacular's Core Game, Scratchpad Publishing, Warhammer Age of Sigmar, Warcry, Games Workshop. The winner for best science fiction or fantasy miniatures collectible card role-playing game is Magic the Gathering, Throne of Eldraine, Wizards of the Coast. The nominees for science fiction or fantasy board game are... The nominees for best science fiction and fantasy board game are... Forgotten Waters, Plaid Hat Games, Jaws of the Lion, Cephalothair Games, Power Rangers, Heroes of the Grid, Renegade Game Studios, Tapestry, Stone Mayor Games, The Crew, The Quest for Planet Nine, Cosmos, The King's Dilemma, Horrible Guild Game Studio. The winner for Best Science Fiction or Fantasy Board Game is Tapestry, Stone Mayer Games. The nominees for Best Science Fiction or Fantasy Mobile Game are... The nominees for Best Science Fiction or Fantasy Mobile Game are... Ark Knights, Hypergriff and Yostar, Call of Duty Mobile, Team E Studios and Activision Games, Grindstone, Capybara Games Incorporated, Manifold Garden, William Chire Studio, 
Minecraft Earth, Mojang Studios and Xbox Game Studios, Muta Zion, Daiguta Fabric, and Akupara Games. The winner for best science fiction or fantasy mobile game is Minecraft Earth, Mojang Studios and Xbox Game Studios. The nominees for best science fiction or fantasy PC console game. The nominees for best science fiction or fantasy PC slash console game are Borderlands 3, Gearbox Software and 2K Games, Control, Remedy Entertainment and 505 Games, Death Stranding, Kojima Productions and Sony Interactive, Gears 5, The Coalition and Xbox Game Studios, Half-Life Alex, Valve, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Respawn Entertainment, and Electronic Arts. The Outer Worlds, Obsidian Entertainment, and Private Division. The winner for Best Science Fiction or Fantasy PC Console Game is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Respawn Entertainment, and Electronic Arts. Comics were a massive part of my life. I was drawing, I was doing storyboards, I was playing action figures. Have I mentioned my action figures yet? I had a huge collection that's probably still in my mom's basement. In fact, I know it is because it's, it's in a few giant trunks. I think she's been trying to get me out of there. Never mind, don't worry about that. Point is, the nominees for Best Graphic Novel are... The nominees for Best Graphic Novel are... Batman Universe by Brian Michael Bendis and Nick Darrington. Battlestar Galactica Counter-Strike by John Jackson Miller and Daniel HDR. Black Bolt by Saladin Ahmed, Christian Ward, Fraser Irving, and Stephanie Hans. Dragon Hoops by Gene Luen Yang. Mr. Miracle by Tom King and Mitch Gerads. Something is Killing the Children, Volume 1 by James Tinian IV and Werther Del Edera. The winner for Best Graphic Novel is Battlestar Galactica Counter-Strike by John Jackson Miller, Daniel HDR. The nominees for Best Comic are... The nominees for Best Comic Book are... Avengers by Jason Aaron McGuinness, Bitter Root by David F. Walker, Chuck Brown, and Sanford Green, Immortal Hulk by Al Ewing and Joe Bennett. Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. Spider-Woman by Carla Pacheco, Per Perez, and Paolo Siguera. Undiscovered Country by Charles Sewell, Scott Snyder, Danielle Orlandini, Giuseppe Camoncoli, and Matt D. Wilson. The winner for Best Comic Book is Avengers by Jason Aaron and McGinnis. When I was growing up, I watched the Superman movie probably a hundred times at my grandfather's house, uh, along with all the George Reeves Supermans, all the, all the Reeves. And there was nothing more exciting for me at the time than to put on a, uh, a bath towel and jump around off of picnic tables. And then, you know, flash forward 30 years and I get to jump off of much higher things. So. Thanks, television, for giving me the idea to just, you know, leap off stuff. And the nominees for Best Science Fiction or Fantasy TV Show are... The nominees for Best Science Fiction or Fantasy TV Series are... Altered Carbon, Netflix. Lost in Space, Netflix Originals. Star Trek Picard, CBS All Access. The Expanse, Amazon Prime. The Mandalorian, Disney Plus. The Witcher, Netflix. Watchmen, HBO. The winner for best science fiction or fantasy TV show is The Mandalorian, Disney Plus. The nominees for best science fiction or fantasy movie are The nominees for best science fiction or fantasy movie are Ad Astra by James Gray. Fast Color by Julia Hart. Joker by Todd Phillips. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker 
by J.J. Abrams. Terminator Dark Fate by Tim Miller. The Lion King by John Favreau. The winner for best science fiction or fantasy movie is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by J.J. Abrams. As a longtime fan of U.G. Foster's beautiful writing, I am honored to present the U.G. Foster Award this year. The U.G. Foster Memorial Award for Short Fiction, or U.G. Award, celebrates the best in innovative fiction. The U.G. Award honors stories that are irreplaceable, that inspire, enlighten, and entertain. The recipient is a story that is unique and will become essential to speculative fiction readers. The 2020 finalists for the UG Award are Siobhan Carroll's story, For He Could Creep, published by Tor.com, L. Chan's story, The House Wins in the End, published by The Dark, Andy Dudak's story, Love in the Time of Immuno Sharing, published by Analog Science Fiction and Fact. Thorea Dyer's story, A Civilization Dreams of Absolutely Nothing, published by Analog Science Fiction and Fact. Jerome Stewart's story, Postlude to the Afternoon of a Fawn, published by the magazine of Fantasy and Science Fiction. The five nominated stories span multiple genres and styles, from comedic period fantasy to dystopian science fiction to dreamy contemporary horror and beyond. There was incredible world building and complex family dynamics in A Civilization Dreams of Absolutely Nothing. Haunting horror in sumptuous prose in The House Always Wins in the End. Sweet, witty feline adventures in For He Can Creep. Wildly imaginative and prescient visions of the future in Love in the Time of Immuno Sharing. An inventive and touching modern mythology in Postlude to the Afternoon of a Fawn. Each nominated story and the journeys that they took us on were an absolute joy. We want to thank each nominee again for your incredible work. So without further ado, I am honored to announce this year's recipient of the UG Foster Award. This year's winner is For He Can Creep by Siobhan Carroll. Wow. Thank you so much for this honor. The UG Award is one of my favorite awards, celebrating as it does the life of an author, fan, and community builder who was taken from us too soon. Stories like UG Foster's inventive and chilling Sinner Baker, Fabulous Priest, Red Mask, Black Mask, Gentleman, Beast, and her gentle retelling, The Girl Who Drew Cats, have been inspirations to me. It is an honor to accept an award bearing her name. For He Can Creep was inspired by the real history of an 18th century poet whose story I thought would seem alien to many. After all, who in 2019 could identify with the life of a person stuck indoors for months at a time with only a pet for company? Since then, I think we've all gained a deeper appreciation for what mandated indoor life is like and for the pressures that it can place on creativity. In difficult times, we rely even more heavily on the things that sustain us, friendship, community, and for some of us, the animals that share our lives. Above all, we benefit from the difficult, soul-building work that goes into creating and consuming art. This is the kind of work that Eugene Foster practiced, and it is the kind of work that sustains our community now through the hard work of fans and volunteers, writers and organizers. Thank you for all that you have been doing to sustain the science fiction and fantasy community in 2020. I'd also like to thank those who supported the creation of this story, from the always amazing Ellen Datlow and the crew at Tor.com, to Scott Andrews, whose Hexagon Retreat provided the space for Joffrey's story to get told. I'd like to thank my posse of sparkle ponies, they know who they are, and Peter Feng, who patiently checked drafts for the accuracy of my depiction of cats and demons. Lastly, I'd like to thank two of my inspirations, Banjo and Lucy, whose demands for food will apparently never be satisfied, but who will benefit from some extra treats tomorrow. Thank you so much.
There's nothing more enjoyable than reading a giant book and trying to figure out how they would turn it into a movie. Then when I realized they could turn it into a movie, I realized maybe it doesn't mean they should have. Anyway, let's get started. The nominees for Best Alternate History Novel are... The nominees for Best Alternate History Novel are... The Girl with No Face by M. H. Borison. Witchy Kingdom by D.J. Butler. Revolution by W. L. Goodwater. As Our World Ends by Jack Hunt. Uptime Pride and Downtime Prejudice by Mark H. Houston. A Nation Interrupted by Kevin McDonald. The winner for Best Alternative History Novel is... Witchy Kingdom by D.J. Butler. The nominees for Best Horror Novel are... The nominees for Best Horror Novel are... Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky. Scavenger Hunt by Michael Brent Collings. The Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher. The Pursuit of William Abbey by Claire North. The Toll by Cherie Priest. The winner for Best Horror Novel is The Twisted Ones by T. King Fisher. The nominees for Best Media Tie-In Novel are... The nominees for Best Media Tie-In Novel are... Firefly, The Ghost Machine by James Lovegrove. Star Trek Picard, The Last Best Hope, by Una McCormick. Star Trek Discovery, The Enterprise War, by John Jackson Miller. Resistance Reborn, by Rebecca Rowanhorse. Aliens Phalanx, by Scott Sigler. The winner for Best Media Tie-In Novel is Firefly, The Ghost Machine, by James Lovegrove. The nominees for Best Military Science Fiction or Fantasy Novel are... The nominees for Best Military Science Fiction or Fantasy Novel are... Savage Wars by Jason Onspock and Nick Cole. Edge of Valor by Joss Hayes. Aftershocks by Marco Cluse. Defiance by Bear Ross. Howling Dark by Christopher Ruocchio. System Failure by Joe Zyja. The winner for Best Military Science Fiction or Fantasy Novel is Savage Wars by Jason Onspach and Nick Cole. The nominees for Best Young Adult Middle Grade Novel are... The nominees for Best Young Adult Middle Grade Novel are Finch Merlin and the Font of Youth by Bella Forrest. Catfishing on Catnet by Naomi Kritzer, The Grace Year by Kim Leggett, Force Collector by Kevin Shinnick, The Poison Jungle by Tui T. Sutherland, Cog by Greg Van Eekhout. The winner for Best Young Adult Middle Grade Novel is Finch Merlin and the Fount of Youth by Bella Forst. The nominees for Best Fantasy Novel, including Paranormal, are... The nominees for Best Fantasy Novel, including Paranormal, are... Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Jade War by Fonda Lee. Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno-Garcia. The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Dead Astronauts by Jeff Vandermeer. The Burning White by Brent Weeks. The winner for Best Fantasy Novel, including Paranormal, is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. And our final award for this evening, Best Science Fiction Novel. And the nominees are... The nominees for Best Science Fiction Novel are The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, The Ten Thousand Doors of January, by Alex E. Harrow, Gideon the Ninth, by Tamsin Muir, The Future of Another Timeline, by Annalee Newitz, 
The Last Emperor by John Scalzi. The Rosewater Redemption by Tade Thompson. Network Effect by Martha Wells. Wanderers by Chuck Wendig. The winner for Best Science Fiction Novel is The Last Emperix by John Scalzi. Congratulations to all the winners of the 2020 Dragon Award. To all our nominees, we have been honored to showcase your works and celebrate your achievements. Continue writing and creating and encourage your fans to nominate you again when the 2021 Dragon Awards nomination period opens again later this year. Now, concluding our fifth year, the Dragon Awards have proven to be the defining must list for the greatest in genre novels, media, comics, and games. While the world is locked inside, fans have turned to past award winners to build their wish lists. We are excited to add these 15 2020 Dragon Award winners to that illustrious list of winners. We would like to take a moment to thank the Fulton County Library System and their partners for their support of this year's award and for helping readers and fans everywhere access to this year's nominees. And thank you, everyone, for nominating and voting this year. I have to go. The recognizer is coming. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your con. Get it.